Charleston Municipal Golf Course has always been a gem. Known simply as Muni to locals, the course dates back to 1929 and occupies a striking piece of land by the Stono River. At high tide, though, it often flooded. Today, Muni has been reborn as a low country tribute to the architecture of Seth Rayner. Rayner was famous for his collaborations with Charles Blair MacDonald and for his own designs at Fishers Island, Shore Acres, and Yale. But he also built two outstanding courses in the Charleston area, Yeamans Hall and Country Club of Charleston, both private. Seth Rayner didn't design Charleston Municipal, but his architecture was inspiring to those who wanted to renovate Muni. What Rayner did in this town, you know, is, is such a great, great example of his work. And, and it's why it fits so well in the Lowcountry, the ability to really enhance the features of the golf course on relatively flat property. And so the idea when it was pitched was really about, listen, we're a historic town. We're a sophisticated town. We deserve a historic, sophisticated golf course to call our own. And so it was an easy pitch to get people behind the idea of bringing these template holes to the table. Template holes. These are what Rayner's partner, C.B. McDonald, referred to as ideal holes, adaptations of designs from classic Lynx courses. With funding from the city, as well as from a local group called Friends of Muni, architect Troy Miller was able to bring some of these ideal holes to Charleston Municipal. There's 12 template holes out there. And of those templates, I think the ones that will stand out the most to people and where the biggest physical change to the property came was the corner of the golf course that's 11, 12, 13, and 14. At that point, you kind of leave kind of the Parkland style of the golf course, cross the road and head down towards the river into something that feels much more linksy. And all of a sudden now you've got, you're playing Redan, Cape, Road, and Short in that order. Yet there were things more important than cool design concepts. Things like drainage. Being in the low country and being at a very low elevation as the Muni is, you know, the biggest thing that, that we did was create better drainage and elevated some of those holes that were in the floodplain along the river. Some holes were elevated as much as five to seven feet from where they were before. Others just six to 12 inches is all it really took. And all of a sudden now what we have is a firm and fast golf course that should stay that way. So Charleston has what's essentially a new golf course that feels and plays like an old one. But ultimately, what will sustain it will not be template holes or even drainage systems. It'll be the community's ongoing investment in the course. And on that count, Troy Miller is hopeful. I think that there's so many people who care deeply about it, and a lot of those people are the people who are working there um, and that have been there for decades in some cases. And the community involvement on this project as well. I mean, we had volunteer days. We had volunteers planting the landscaping on that on a beautiful November day. And to hear guys now going out there and playing and say, hey, I, I, I planted that dogwood. You know, I think that there is a sense of pride that comes with it that I hope will translate into better course care that will translate into long-term conditioning and, and a sense of pride that I hope everybody in Charleston can have in it.